Hello everybody and welcome back to the Japanese inspired picnic bench series. In today's video we're going to get gluing this thing together and make it start resembling an actual picnic bench. Let's get going. So we ended the last episode by dominoing these under frames of the seats together and I've only got one more set of dominoes to do on the end of each of these to attach it to the inside of the frame. And so I'm going to cut those with the domino this morning, get the entire thing glued together and then hopefully by the end of the day we can start attaching it to the seats and then maybe even the seats to the table by the end of the day as well. It'll be some solid progress if we manage it. I've also got to get each and every one of these internal faces sanded and I'm going to be gluing this with Type Bond 3 because it's a nice waterproof glue but obviously I mentioned in the previous video about the potential staining from it. I'm not worried about it in this case because it's the underside of the chair and I want it to dry quickly and I'm not going to be waiting around for epoxy. Right, so these underframes are all glued up and I'm gonna pop them outside because I want these to dry or get dry enough in a couple of hours so I can work on them. And it's currently 30 degrees outside. So I think that should, that should sort these out pretty damn quickly. Oh my Lord, this is hot. That is disgusting out there. Absolutely disgusting. Shut up Australians, I can already hear you. This is hot for a white pale British boy. Right, so the next problem is to do with these under table support things. I only noticed this at the end of the last episode. Basically, these end, these spike bits, these finish in between two of the, uh, in, in, the, the uh, in between the slats of the top. And so I need to slightly adjust this curve to sweep up a little sooner so that it finishes uh, not in one of those gaps. It's not an issue with the outside ones that are already attached to the actual frame because they finish in this area. And so you can't actually see the ends, but it's just those middle two we need to sort out. And there we go, those now finish in the areas that they are meant to. Happy days. So I think the next thing to glue up is gonna be these cross supports. And I want to thank those of you who suggested gluing this up outside rather than in the workshop, because I wouldn't have thought of that. I would have just done it and then, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what would happen from there. So uh, I need to sand these quickly because they're a little bit choppy still. And then I'm also looking at this and thinking it looks a little bit too heavy at the moment. I think what we need is just a very slight curve on the underside of this. And so Rob, I'm going to need your help. No. Oh, all right. Well, we're not going to do that then. Who no. Do no. <laughs> so I'm thinking guardrail. So I reckon it might be easier if I bend it. Right, quick maths. What's half of... 1,320. Uh, 675. No, it's not. Is it not? No. Wait, what did you say? 1,320. Oh. 620. Oh. 660. 660. Damn yeah. It. There. Yeah? Yeah. Go for it. Bit further. Bit further. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, I like that. You do right, that no, I'll do that end yet, sharp. All right. Look, get it actually on the piece. Yeah? Go! Here we go. Oh, that's a good line. Oh, boy. Ah. Yeah? Boom, boom. All right, come it up. Oh! oh. Let's go underarm. <laughs> Just go sideways. Oh, no! <laughs> My question to you is though, what is in these boxes? Oh, that's a lie. Oh no. Leave your thoughts in the comments below.
Right, so the under frames have dried up and I've quickly flushed off the underside to a reasonable extent. I'm going to give it a quick sand after it is uh, attached to the seats, which is what we're going to be doing now. Again, I'm going to use Type Bond 3 for this because I'm not too worried about that potential black staining on the underside of these chairs. I just want something that's easy to clean up and this is the jobby. So, I'll see you on the other side. Right, there we go. Plenty of progress made today. Yes, again, it is a very hot and sticky one now. I'm very much struggling, but we've got the seats in the clamps. We've got the underframe glued together, and now we've just got to wait for that to glue to dry, and then the whole thing is going to go together. So I'll tell you what, we're not going to do a proper episode after this. Instead, we're going to do an overview of the entire series, as we normally do on this channel. And at the end of that video, you will see the finished result, the finished picnic table with me and Rob sitting upon it, eating our lunch. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to press the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time for that overview video. Thank you.